Hi, welcome to Toto Learn. Interesting facts about Mount Everest. Mount Everest is located on the border between Tibet and Nepal in the Himalayas in Asia. Everest is situated in the Mahalangur range on the Tibetan plateau known as King Jong Jowan. The summit is directly between Tibet and Nepal. Mount Everest keeps some tall company. The Mahalangur range is home to four of the Earth's six highest peaks. Mount Everest kind of looms in the background. First timers to Nepal often aren't really sure which mountain is Everest until someone clarifies for them. On the Nepali side, Mount Everest is located in the Sagarmatha National Park in the Solakumbu district. On the Tibetan side, Mount Everest is located in Tingri County in the Sigaza area, what China considered to be an autonomous region and part of the People Republic of China. Because of political restriction and other factors, the Nepali side of Everest is most accessible and more often in the spotlight. When someone says they are going to trek to Everest Base Camp, they are talking about South Base Camp at 17,598 feet in Nepal. How high is Mount Everest? The survey is accepted by Nepal and China for now yielded 29,029 feet, that is 8,840 meters above the sea level. As technology improves, different surveying techniques keep producing different results for the literal height of Mount Everest. Geologists disagree whether the measurement should be based on the permanent snow or rock. Adding to their stress, tectonic movement is making the mountain grow a little each year. At 29,029 feet, that is 8,840 meters above the sea level, Mount Everest is the highest and most prominent mountain on earth based on the measurement to sea level. Asia's Himalayas, the tallest mountain range in the world span across six countries, China, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Bhutan and Afghanistan. Himalaya means a board of snow in Sanskrit. Where did the name Everest came from? Strangely, Earth's tallest mountain didn't get its western name from anyone who had climbed it. The mountain is named for Sir George Everest, the well surveyor general of India at the time. He didn't want the honor and protested the idea for many reasons. The political figures in 1865 didn't listen and is still renamed Peak 15 to Everest in honor of Sir George Everest. What is worse, the Welsh pronunciation is actually Everest, not Everest. Mount Everest already had several local names transliterated from different alphabets, but none were common enough to make official without hurting someone's feeling. Sagarmatha, the Nepali name for Everest and the surrounding national park wasn't put into use until the 1960s. The Tibetan name for Everest is Chomulungma, which means Holy Mother. Who climbed Mount Everest first? Sir Edmund Hillary, a beekeeper from New Zealand and his Nepali Sherpa Tanjing Nurgoy were the first to reach the summit on May 29, 1953 at around 11.30 am. The duo reportedly buried some candies and a small cross before the immediately descending to celebrate becoming a part of history. At the time, Tibet was closely to foreigners because of the conflict with China. Nepal allowed only one Everest expedition per year. Previous expeditions had come very close but failed to reach the summit. Controversies and theories still rage about whether or not British mountaineer George Mallory reached the summit in 1924 before perishing on the mountain. His body wasn't found until 1999. Everest is very good at generating controversies and conspiracies. The Mystery of Mallory's Camera 
The first successful summit of Everest was recorded by Edmund Hillary and Tenzin Norgay on May 29, 1953, but there are some who believe that it was actually climbed much earlier. Back in 1924, an explorer by the name of George Mallory, along with his climbing partner Andrew Irwin, were part of an expedition attempting to complete the first ascent of the mountain. The duo were lost to seen on June 8 of that year, just below the summit, but making steady progress upwards. Shortly thereafter, they simply disappeared, leaving behind a mountaineering mystery for the ages. Did they actually make it to the top nearly three decades before the Hillary and Norgay, or did they perish somewhere below the summit? In 1999, a team of climbers discovered a Mallory's remains high on slope of Everest. The body did little to reveal whether or not he actually reached the top, and unfortunately, the team's camera was not found amongst his gear. It is believed that Evin was actually carrying the camera when they made their ascent, and the device could hold the photographic evidence of their success or failure. The date Irwin's body and the camera has not been found, but if it is ever uncovered, it could potentially change mountaineering history forever. Who has climbed the Everest the most? Climbing Everest is no small feat, and reaching the top remains a tremendous accomplishment. But for some people, climbing the mountain once just isn't enough. In fact, a climber by the name of Komiri Tashepo has been to the summit on 22 separate occasions, giving him the record for most successful attempt on the mountain. Mountain guide Lakpo Sherpa holds the record for most summit by a woman, having climbed to the highest point on the planet nine times. The record for most summit by a non-Sherpa is held by American Dave Horn, a guide for our May expeditions. He has made the trip to the summit 15 times as well, which is an improvised number two. Fastest ascents for most climbers, reaching the summit takes several days, with the stop at various campsites to rest and recover along the way. But a few talented alpinists have been able to go from base camp to the summit in blazingly fast times. Setting speed records in the process. In the process, for instance, the fastest time for an Everest summit from the south side in Nepal is currently held by Lakpa Gelusher Pahuizin, who in 2003 managed to go from BC to the top in just 10 hours and 56 minutes. Lakpa spent a few minutes on the summit, enjoying his accomplishment before turning back. completing the round trip journey in just 18 hours 20 minutes meanwhile on the north side in tibet the record stands at 16 hours and 45 minutes and was set by italian mountaineer hans kammerlander back in 1996 the puja ceremony seeking permission from the mountain gods in the buddhist culture of the himalaya everest is known as Chomolungma, which translates to the Goddess Mother of Mountains. As such, the peak is seen at the sacred place, required all mountainers to ask for permission and safe passage before they actually step foot on the mountain. This takes place during a puja ceremony, which is traditionally held in base camp prior to the start of the climb. The puja is performed by a Buddhist lama and two or more monks, who build an Altar out of stones at the campsite. During the ceremony, they ask for good fortune and protection as the climbers prepare for the ascent. They also bless the team's climbing equipment, including ice axes, crampons, harnesses, and so on. For the Sherpa people, this is an important step that must be completed prior to starting the expedition. Most do want to even begin an Everest expedition without undergoing a puja ceremony first. Is this just a superstition? Quite possibly, but uh, it is also a tradition that dates back hundreds of years and one that most foreign climbers are honored to take part in. 
oldest and youngest climbers age is just a number when it comes to climbing everest sheer most of those who traveled to the mountain or experienced climbers in the 30s and 40s but others certainly fall outside that age group for instance the, re- the record for the oldest climber to ever reach the summit is currently held by Ichiro Miura of Japan who was 80 years 22 80 years to 24 days old when he topped out back in 2013 The youngest person to ever summit the mountain is American Jordan Romero who accomplished that same feat at the tender age of just 13 years 10 months and 10 days in 2010. Recently the government of Nepal and China have uh, agreed to put age restriction on climbers uh, requiring them to be at least 16 years old before attempting the mountain. Both countries have done away with the cap on the age although more senior climbers may be required to pass a medical exam before starting their expedition sadly miro passed away on everest in 2017 while attempting to reach the summit once again at the age of 85 it's not actually the tallest mountain on the planet while the summit of everest may be a highest point on the surface of the earth but it is not actually the tallest mountain on the planet The distinction goes to Mauna Kea in Hawaii which is actually 33465 feet that is 10200 meters in height a full 4436 feet that is 1352 meters taller than Everest so why is not Mauna Kea recognized as the highest peak instead because most of the mountain actually sits below the surface of the ocean its summit only rises 13796 feet above the sea level making it appear to be relatively modest in size when compared to the himalayan giants i hope above facts are really interesting for reference book please go through the description section under this video thanks for watching thank you